to it. Uh, this is going to be winner's quarterfinals, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, this will be a top eight qualifier, and oh boy, this matchup can be a little bit frustrating. Joker natively struggles a lot with uh, short characters. Uh, hitting, <laughs> hitting the low dash of Greninja uh, can be really frustrating. It's you're re often reliant on down tilt, which can not always combo at the percents that you would like it to. Uh, and Wait, that move combos? Down tilt? Yeah. yeah I mean, it, at low percents, yeah, but you don't get to keep comboing for long, which is why Greninja can get away with a lot of stuff, because his dash is so short. But when you have him in a situation like this, Greninja can kind of explode, yet the same can, can be kind of said for Joker. They're two sides of the same coin. They both hit each other very hard in disadvantage, and they both can explode in advantage, so... A lot of footsies, it's going to be what we're seeing in this early game, which is why the percents are right now super even, but the difference maker comes online. Yeah, and once once Big Brother shows up, uh, you're in for uh, you're in for a treat because the momentum of any match can swing in an instant whenever whenever the big winged man shows up. Yeah, but this is where uh, Greninja's ability to poke uh, really comes into play. Things like back air, down tilt, these safe moves deplete our sense super quickly thanks to that uh, significantly earlier nerf to the our to the rebellion gauge oh uh, well, significantly uh, let, let, let's let's be careful here the oh, early, back air the earlier nerf to the rebellion gauge yeah that was like almost oh, a year not, ago i mean yeah but it's not significant i wouldn't say <laughs> absolutely <laughs> okay. so uh, <laughs> Either way, it's uh, it's not really, not real. Poke fans taking that first stock and trying to extend it, but just like Joker can, make yourself hard to hit, pick, uh, pick away, and pick on that extended damage thanks to Iha, and uh, and especially thanks to that gun. Ooh, that fourth throw, I'm not gonna kill off stage just yet. Uh, Jake Arnold makes it back to stage. Here's the thing about Arsene is it's it's meant to be a comeback mechanic, but. Sometimes it just extends leads really hard, um, but putting uh, putting that matter to bed, Jankron's going to hit a down tilt into forward air combo, and uh, that is going to do it for that first stock. And, you know, Jankron, if they slow the pace of this match down and just pick their spots really well, they could bring this back in an instant. Oh, that was a that was a pretty premier punish. Not only with the added three frames on uh, the IHA that was added in 11.0, but the uh, land just grounded IHA is rather punishable. But Jay Grunt not wanting to risk it at 130 has to deal with Big Brother yet again. Arsene showing off what he can do. F tilt is going to be dangerous, but the down tilt back air Joker's combo weight pretty solid. And man, that up smash took off so much meter. Yeah, yeah, he's without with Arsene too. And, oh, that's the right Greninja. Yep, that's going to end up killing. Weak hit Nair in the forward air. True combo, baby. True combo. Oh, you're saying Eha. I thought you were saying Iha. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's Got the it. name of the move. <laughs> I, I, I thought you were saying Iha for the whole match. I was like, what the heck is he talking about? It's the name of the move, Eha. That's cool. And it's the probably one of the one of if not the best zoning tools now he's got Aegon on deck it's upgraded form but much harder to hit but the reward is that much better and he's gonna need a high reward move at this point you <laughs> see him swinging around dash attacks i'm still calling one i hop if he, that's what you so choose <laughs> nice nice catch with the up air calling out that jump an important one for sure because the first star cent of this stock is gone and uh, if you want to make a comeback, you might need that second one. Yeah, the Rebellion Gauge, uh, the Rebellion, not the Gauge, the Guard comes out looking to artificially prolong that Gauge, get a second Arf Sent on deck. Yeah, a second Arf Sent would be huge right and now. There Here it comes. It is. Yep, one yeah, just more. Just give, give it a few seconds. It'll be yeah, there. There oh, he there is. is. Yep, Altec was a nice kick to the chest. And now Jay Grunt has to not do that. So, the oh, platform oh, coverage. Wait. Oh my god, that, that one! Drag down back air into F smash? That's a thing? Crazy. Jay Grunt is able to pull that one. I, I was going to say he needed to slow down the tempo uh, towards the end there just so he didn't get, you know, flattered on. But no, I mean, right now, yeah, able to punish that jump and. 
Oh, it wasn't true. He was moving a little bit. You see yeah, it? it wasn't true, but it frame trapped him, so. Yeah, like, take a look. Ready? Yeah. Ba -ba 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 -ba. He hits see that the... yoinky. Oh, he yeah. tried to dash out. Yeah. Yeah. All he had to do was put up shield. It looks like he was holding in, expecting the back air to finish, but then it landed. So, you know, multi-hits in Smash Ultimate oftentimes confirm into much bigger hits, and Greninja, both characters even, take full advantage of that of that fact. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh! Just, just, just wrong. Just, just such a good dash in from Jay Grunt. Like, not trying to deal with, uh, with poker fans zoning, just saying, hey, I wanna, I wanna scrap now, and you're gonna have to come to me as soon as I get this lead, and a lead he certainly has, 76, 85, and counting. Yeah, Jacob is is on his horse right now, trying to get the damage. Oh, yo, what a drop down to read the guns. That was that was impeccable from Jacob right there. Always try to edge guard this Joker. Oh and no! Will he keep going for it? Get back to ledge real quick. Yeah. When Joker is forced to recover from deep, that's when you really have to go out there and hit him. Not only for Right. If you hit Joker out of his cable, he's effectively dead without his jump. But the same thing goes for Arsene. Like that invulnerability uh, doesn't last forever. Yes. And the, but this damage seems to yet another oh. Trump. Oh. Oh. Okay, he, these are custom combos now. They are. <laughs> <He's looking. laughs> these aren't cookie cutter custom combos. These are these are works of art I'm seeing right now. If the only thing he's not doing is trying to two frame uh, Arsene. Oh, but, what attack! That was, okay. a, that was a really good tech. <laughs> See neutral get up? And the reversal, he's still not fine. Yeah. Okay, yeah, he yeah. goes at the that. best angle he could, but not quite reaching. Dang. Oh, he missed the drag down. Okay, that's Pokefan's chance to get back into this thing. He needs to keep him on ledge for as long as he can here. 35, a decent start, but at, you're at such a deficit here. Yeah, but Greninja's grab is, is slow and not all that reliable. Rebel's gauge, or excuse me, Rebel's guard. Now I'm doing it. Might not be too bad of an option here. Oh, but the forward air. Yeah, got to make it a little bit harder. But this you is... <laughs> you, you, had, you would need two hands to count how many forward airs he was throwing out in poker fan's face. And eventually one was going to come through. But the damage on IHA are going to start stacking up, really making, making this lead dwindle ever so slightly. Let's play yet again. This yeah. time, Jake Grunt gets out without a scratch. Uh, nice air dodge back to ledge there by Pokefan. Uh, all right, and and this is where you know it's it's not out of the out of the picture yet for there to be a comeback from Pokefan. But Jake Grunt is going to try to extend their lead as much as humanly possible because they don't want a universe where that happens. Sent on deck, jump. No neutral get up, and he calls that uh -oh. out too. That's two for two thus far, and this Arsene is about halfway gone. Oh, great. great. Gotta use it to recover. There. Down tilt? Yeah. No, no. He lets him back on just fine. And the Arsene is gone just by keeping him at ledge. The stock is gone too. Good so up. this game is relatively even. But unless you get a nice read on where uh, Jake wants to throw out an option, no jump. Yeah, no jump. Oh, yeah. And that, that was going to do it. Good call out from Jake Runt. Catching that jump and sealing the game into their favor. Good, good, good work. Again. Both players played out of their mind right now. Jake just had one or two more interactions going his favor. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. The jump e Yeah. And he's going to fall down, put some pressure on, and yeah. Cable not... Cable is one of the best tether recoveries in the game, but not good enough to make that one back. Yeah. Unfortunately, yep, there it is. You got two arrows pointing at it right now. Sag. Sometimes it's a. Uh, sometimes it's like that though. Like when Joker's most important resource, and kind of in general, any player's most important resource is that double jump. And if you use it recklessly to try and get back on stage with something like Iha, an active hitbox will stuff that out and make Joker pay. And with the speed of a uh, of Greninja, he can go out there to finish the job. That's. That's kind of the matchup, though. It is one when it is lost in advantage of how much damage each character can, each player can put on the other, respectively, because things can fall out of favor very quickly if you don't keep up the damage threshold. Yeah, but you know, hey, great stuff from Pokefan. They're going to be in losers bracket, guaranteed ninth place.
And uh, they could definitely solidify 